Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person who's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And if you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. I think this is like, let me see. I felt like this was a third. So this is the second Luther Vandross song. Well, the version I heard is the Luther Vandross version, but the song that I heard was Love Won't Let Me Wait. The originator of that song is Major Harris, who was an Aquarius. Um, and Luther Vandross was a Taurus. So it's interesting. I keep hearing Aries, though. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that in there because I kept hearing Aries. So this could be something with the Aries person or Aries time frame. Aries season is March, April. But you could be dealing with a Taurus or Aquarius or Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in a visual is what I'm getting. So with love won't let me wait, the message that I heard is there's a lot of emotion, a lot of emotions bubbling under the surface. And somebody's feelings is just going to come out and it could, it could hit like a tower. Like the tower is something that happens unexpectedly. Either you could have some strong emotions and you just can't hold back. You're going to say what you got to say about it. Or this could be someone doing this to you. Again, if you are completely sim uh, completely single, I think somebody's going to be expressing interest in you and it's going to catch you completely off guard. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. I keep hearing Aries over and over again. Something's going on with Aries, or Aries person or something that happened in Aries season. So let's see what we get for you guys today. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, rap bastard though. You guys know that's my energy. This is wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want. This also could be a card of gluttony. Somebody could have did something sneaky because, you know, they were being greedy, you know, entertaining you and multiple people. Um, also, someone's birth year could be the year of the rat also as well. Someone could be a bit of a drinker also. Like the way they deal with things in life is with drinking. I'm just getting that energy. And you know, I just heard right now an old fool. And he and he's an older looking guy here. So someone could be an old fool. In other words, like you too old to be behaving a certain way. And I say this all the time. Age ain't nothing but a number. People, you know, you could be in your 60s and still doing foolish things and acting foolishly when it comes to matters of the heart. This could be someone who's an old fool again. Like if you think about the cups of the emotions and feelings, like this person could be an older person, but they're immature emotionally. They're emotionally immature is what I'm getting. Also, with love won't let me wait. Somebody wants it all. Like, he has all these cups. Somebody wants it all right now with you, or you want this with someone. Could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio involved as well. So, let's go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Yep, I just said Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You got the death card, Scorpio. This could have definitely been with someone that there was an ending with. Again, I'm, I'm getting the energy of someone who's greedy. Look at his face. He looks greedy, sneaky, and manipulative. Um, so as I was saying, we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is a temperance card, and then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who is greedy and manipulative. They want it all. They want all your time, all your energy. Definitely getting sneaky. I said that with the Four of Pentacles. She has a hood on in the house. Why? What you doing, girl? Why you got that hood on? You know, um, could be the little Leo Sag Aries. Someone could be born in the year of the dog, the year of the pig, the year of the rooster, also the year of the dragon. This could be you or love interest. Again, if you are completely single, I feel like somebody has had feelings for you for a while. I mean, they've been keeping the tabs on you, especially if you're on social media. They watch everything you post. And I feel like they will be loyal. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. This person will be loyal to you. I really feel like somebody won't. For a lot of you guys, if you are single... Hell, even if you're in a relationship already, somebody wants you, and they keep keeping tabs on you. They've been watching you for a while. Let's see what we get for you guys today, okay? So, I'm going to make sure I didn't skip through it. The temperance card, and card that comes before, and the card that comes after for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, let's see. Love won't let me wait. Hmm. Is it love or is it passion? I, I'm I'm wondering because I'm picking up like somebody, you know, that wine, the way she's holding that wine makes me think about the phallic sexual energy. Somebody, somebody definitely thinks about you or desires you sexually. Uh, there you go. Okay. So you have the king of pentacles, Taurus, and she went Taurus season and she's looking directly at him. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody can't wait. They won't like answers right now. They won't chew right now because Taurus season is happening now and she's looking directly at it. 
And then right behind it, you have the five of cups. So sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. One, two, three, three cups split over third party. There's two cups back here. And that's what I was saying before. Somebody is, and look that. See, there's two cups behind him, and then right behind you have two cups. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody was being greedy. Remember with that nine of cups that we seen in the beginning? It would make me think about gluttony, like somebody who was entertaining multiple sources, even though they were already in a relationship. And also, I want to say, if there was an ending, possibly in Taurus season with someone, there's a new love interest coming in, and this person could definitely be a water sign, Cancer, Spice, Scorpio. Um, there's a new love interest coming in that could possibly be in Cancer season, is what I'm getting also bottom of the deck you have the six of swords so i do feel I, I do get a vibe like somebody is like moving very quickly you know you see how he's like guiding his ship but there's some this always gives me a vibe of like somebody being unhappy here her head is down like somebody staying in a relationship for the child or children but I keep saying, like, you know, there's an energy of, like, being unhappy. Anytime you see the head, like, going downwards, it's like being ashamed of something or not being happy with the way things are going. His head is down. Her head is down. So it's like, hmm. I just heard head, heads down, thumbs up. It's time to play seven up. If you think about it, and when they play that game, they, you put your head down on the desk and you you would put your thumb up and then somebody has to push the thumb down as a child. Again, I keep getting something like childish. That's a game, right? Somebody being childish. Somebody could have recently just drank a 7-Up or a Sprite recently. And I know that's weird, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. But I, I definitely get like somebody was playing games here. I'm going to say that. Somebody was playing games here. Let's park the deck. You got the... And see? Then I say the name of songs. Love won't let me wait. Somebody's coming in quickly. Look how fast he's moving. And you're going to get some type of message. Right by his ear, there's a heart. Source communication and mental. Somebody's going to come in very quickly and tell you how they feel about you. I feel like somebody wants to put the stick the claws in, but that may sound aggressive. Okay, wow. So I just seen an eagle. Someone's spirit animal is eagle. Look up eagle spirit animal and leave in the comment section below how that message resonates for you. You guys know I always check the messages. I always respond. Somebody's spirit animal is the eagle. Because I just heard somebody wants to stick. And I seen like an eagle's claw like digging in. Like somebody wants to stick their claw in you. Their claws in you. Like they want to. They want you now. If you see how he's looking at us. Whatever he's requesting. He want it now. Look how serious that face is. I'm, I'm going to say again. Somebody's already in a relationship. Because you know right behind it you have the two of cups. Then you got three of cups here and there's two. So it's like this person. Somebody could already be in a relationship. But they are stepping outside of their relationship because they are feeling very impassioned towards you or you're feeling passionate towards somebody. I'm just getting like somebody possibly stepping outside of their relationship. Love won't let me wait. Tempest card, your major arcana talks about patience and waiting for things. So somebody's feeling impatient here. Ooh, and you got a couple cards fly across the floor. Let me get them because I want you guys to see. And this is exactly how they flipped up. Two of cups in reverse. Did we not end with the two of cups here? Then you have the Ace of Wands. Now, I'll tell you guys, the Ace of Wands looks like a phallic symbol, and it looks literally like the tip of it, like a penis head. Now, whether you're into penis or not, don't matter. That's sexual energy, right? So, the fact of the matter, look at that hand. You see how it's like a thumbs down? You better wait, or you're going to ruin something. Somebody could ruin something. Five of Pentacles, Lack, Loss, Abandonment, being left out in the cold, and Page of Cups. Again, someone who is emotionally immature. So, somebody's making decisions, but not in a smart way. Let me just tuck these in here randomly. I feel like somebody's already in a relationship or they're saying that they're going to end something, but they're still in it. Because this is always a spouse, long-term companion. This is someone who's in a relationship and it's like being impatient. This could be you, okay? Or somebody could be coming towards you before they official, they officially in a marriage or a relationship. Because they, it's like they don't, they want you now. That's what I'm getting. Especially sexually, they want you now. Look at how all these, see, this is impatient. Somebody's being very impatient. Look at how all these cards are, like, scattering out. So the top card, I'm going to take it because I'm being guided to. You have the High Priestess, Piscean Energy, possibly even Gemini. Um, The High Priestess, someone's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, M, H, W, P, R, or S. First, middle, last initial for you or this person. In reverse, this person is not thinking clearly. I can tell you right now, the high priestess, she knows all, she sees all, she can sense things that are going to happen before they even play out. In reverse, somebody's not making a wise decision. If somebody jumps into something right now, this could also be like a, um, damn, I just heard lowball. Somebody's trying to lowball you. In other words, not seeing your worth. But this also could be a rebound <laughs> relationship. So somebody's jumping into something before they have even healed and they're not thinking clearly. I'm getting that also. 
Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy here. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. You got Pisces. This could be Pisces. Then we stopped here. So definitely could be Pisces um, energy. Bottom of the deck. You, yeah. Woo, look at all this water. Ace of Cups. W, M, C, J, H, A, P, or S. I just heard Andrew or Andrews. Uh, I just heard Burrow. Somebody could live in a certain kind of Burrow that starts with an A. I'm getting that also. Let's get a clear, and I'm also, okay, now I'm here in Bureau, so someone could work in a governmental department. They could have a governmental job as well, okay? So let's get a clarify for the Five of Cups. Clarify for the Five of Cups for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I just seen the Strength card. So the opposite of Strength is weakness like this. Wow. So someone is someone's weakness here. That's why love won't let me wait. Somebody feels very passionate about somebody. You got the king. Wow. So you, you see how that landed? You got the king of pentacles and it landed on the king of pentacles. Something's going to go down before Taurus season wraps up. I'm going to tell y'all that for sure. Before Taurus season wraps up, something is going to go down. And it's, it could cause some conflict. Bottom of the deck, five of swords, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. Somebody could already be in a relationship. And it's interesting because you have, you're ending with the five of swords and then you have the five of cups. Again, fives, when you look at this energy, could be conflict. You know, this could be some conflict or some drama here. I'm going to tell you straight up, somebody wants what they want right now. You see how he's looking at this pinnacle? Somebody wants you now or you want somebody, but I'm going to tell you, it may not end good for whoever it is who's already in something. If you are in a relationship, you got somebody coming at you flirting, I, I, because I'm telling you right now, it's going to end, it's not going to end well. Somebody's not thinking clearly. Um, and then I'm going to tell you if somebody's in a relationship and they're coming towards you, like sliding your inbox and things like that, they're going to get caught. They are going to get caught. Somebody's going to find them out. I'm telling you right now, they're going to get caught. It's going to come out. And for a lot of y'all, this will be happening before Taurus season wraps up or because you do have the King of Pentacles twice. In one instance for someone, this could be happening before Taurus season wraps up. And in another instance, this, this could actually be involving a Taurus individual, specifically the sun sign is what I'm getting. Okay. So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.